Welcome everybody back to SWF Live. This is episode number three and we start out round two of that heavyweight championship tournament. We're going to take a look at the card right now and I'll give you guys some insight about where I've been. Let's go to it now. As I said, welcome back to SWF Live now. Um, kind of getting out of character here for a minute. Um, we moved recently, um, probably within the last month and a half we moved and um, into the new house. I don't have an office set up yet, so we have to actually build out one of the rooms to be an office. And once that happens, I should be able to get some of these videos out uh, more regularly. Um, until then, I'm actually home sick today if you can't hear it in my voice. Um, I kind of feel terrible, but um, I wanted to update everybody. And what better way to update them than to actually put out a, a real video um, for SWF Live instead of just like a little update thing. So, here we go. Episode number three. We are starting round two of our World Heavyweight Tournament. We have Justin Brute taking on Jeremy Taylor. We have Mac Mitchell versus Troy Adams. Daz Heat versus Zach Graves. These guys have a little bit of a history. Shane Daniels versus Brendan X. And then we're going to um, finish it out with this match. Draven versus Dimsmore will be on the next webisode. I believe number four. Draven trying to get into the SWF. Dimsmore is the gatekeeper of SWF. Since the roster has been set, anybody coming in now has to face Dimsmore to get a roster spot they will have faced in a extreme rules match in the last one we saw james hero face off against dim Moore, and james hero fell short so as of right now he is on the waiting list to get into swf we'll see draven versus dim Moore at a later time in episode number four but let's get on with our first matchup of the night it's going to be justin brute versus Jeremy Taylor in round two, match one of this tournament. Let's see who comes out on top. Ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring. I believe this is the first time we've seen him. He managed to get a first round by it is Justin Brute. Look at the size of this man. I hope Jeremy Taylor knows what he's getting into facing off against this man. And his opponent coming off a win in the first round. It is Jeremy Taylor. We saw him um, a while back showing off that SWF championship, which of course has already been changed. Um, and we've also got a secondary title. We'll get more into that as we get closer to the end of the tournament. But Jeremy Taylor, he has got a big task ahead of him taking on Justin Brute. Who knows what's going to happen here? Let's find out. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The fans already holding up signs saying this is awesome. We got Jeremy Taylor and Justin Brute. Referee, ring that bell, and it is on. They meet in the center of the ring. Brute getting the first hit, but no. Jeremy Taylor, nice reversal there. The big man coming right at him. Jeremy gets him down on the ground. Starts wailing on him with punches and kicks. He's 
He's going to drag him away from the ropes a little bit. Pretty smart move. Picking him up by the waist and dropping him down. Oh, not just once. Look at this. Jeremy Taylor showing his strength and coming right at Justin Brute. My gosh. What strength from Jeremy Taylor. Big knee across the chest. Now, Jeremy Taylor, as I said, was able to knock off Hono Chioko. That match was a Falls Count Anywhere match, and it ended up in the crowd, and it stayed there. Jeremy Taylor ended up destroying Hono out there um, among the fans, which I'm sure they loved, and he managed to get it on. Now, he's had the most time to rest, of course, other than Justin Brute and those that, that uh, made it into the second round without having to fight in the first round club big clubbing swing right to the back of taylor brute now look at this nice move from taylor he's got brute on his back and that looks to be the way it, jeremy's game plan is going is keep brute down and just as i say that the curse if you're not familiar with the curse every time i say something about how well somebody is doing it immediately turns around on them we'll see if that happens here, Jeremy, look at this. Nice move to Justin Brute. Oh, man, and Jeremy Taylor wasting no time. Quickly going up top. Ref telling him to get down. Big body splash. Holy cow. And no, I thought Taylor might have been going for a pin, but no. Brute shot to the stomach now. Center of the ring. Oh, boy. Oh my gosh, Jeremy's Taylor's head bouncing off that bottom turnbuckle. And now Brute goes after the knee of Taylor. Wow. And what's Brute here? He's sizing him up, trying to figure out what his next move's going to be. Second rope here. Big elbow across the face. Jeremy dives out of the way. Brute catches him pretty quickly. Look at this. Holy cow. Belly to belly over the top rope and back into the ring. Brute is in control now. Look at this. Soup just trapping suplex from Brute. And he's going to go right back in and pick it up. And just as I said, as Brute was in control, Jeremy Taylor, big bear hug slam to the big man. And Taylor not going for the pin again. Kick to the stomach. Oh, boy. Boom. Pile driver dropping Brute right on his head. And, oh, boy. Jeremy Taylor calling for Brute to get up. Hooks him. Look at this. He's got him in a torture rack, it looks like. Oh, and then a back cutter. My gosh. Jeremy down for the cover. One, two, and no. Brute kicks out. Brute not going away that easily. And J Jeremy Taylor just taking it to the man. And again, the curse. Bending that arm across. Nice reversal from Taylor pushing Brute away. Oh, kick to the stomach now. Look at this. He's got him hooked up. Pump handle slam. Into the turnbuckle again. Brute now. Now he's calling for Jeremy Taylor to stand to his feet. Jeremy Taylor catches the punch and delivers a right of his own. And now Brute just cranking the neck of Jeremy Taylor. What is he? It looks like Taylor's getting out of it. Shot to the gut. Kick to the stomach now. Are we going to see it? Center of the ring. Big power bomb. My gosh. That's got to be it. Taylor goes in for the pin. One, two, no. Look at Taylor. He can't believe. What does he got to do to put Brute away? Brute's a big man. Brute is a big man. And Taylor's got to pull out all the stops here. Look at this. Hooking him up again. Into that torture rack. Taylor now swinging him out. Cutter onto the back of the head of Brute. Good job of hooking that leg. Does he get the three count? Yes, he does. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, 
Jeremy Taylor with the victory over Justin Brute, who's one and done in the second round. Let's take a look at the replay here. Huge trap suplex there by Brute. Proves to be insufficient pile driver there. This is the first torture rack cutter from Jeremy Taylor. Oh, that might have been the second one. The ref counts here. This is the first one. Look at that. Big Taylor bomb right in the center of the ring. But that does not... That does not put Justin Brood away. No, sir. Here's what does it. The second torture rack cutter from Jeremy Taylor. And the ref gets down, counts the three, and he is your winner, ladies and gentlemen. Jeremy Taylor moving on now to the semifinals, no, the quarterfinals, excuse me. He will face the winner of Mac Mitchell and Troy Adams. Great job from Jeremy Taylor. What a matchup that was, but let's get into our second match of the evening, it is Mac Mitchell versus Troy Adams. And for the second match of the evening, match number two of round two for the SWF Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first, he is the Diamond, Mac Mitchell. Waiting in the ring for his opponent. Coming in with the attitude. It is Troy Adams, and he is fired up, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Troy Adams, he ended up having to face an Archimus. If you know anything about an Archimus, you know he's been in FAM. Forever a movement for quite some time. They are letting us borrow him, and Troy Adams ended up getting the victory over him. Mac Mitchell, excuse me, Mac Mitchell faced an Archimus. Troy Adams faced off against Matt Baker. Matt Baker is on um, CCW. He is on loan to us as well. A lot of these guys are uh, are able to cross promote, if you will. So Troy Adams beat Matt Baker. Mac Mitchell beat FAM's Anarchimus. And now they face off against each other in the second match of the second round of this World Heavyweight championship tournament the fans are fired up folks let's get going here we go center of the ring and they lock up troy adams now with the advantage from behind and he tosses mitchell to the floor headlock now and a punch to the face adams lets him up mitchell tossing him hard into that corner Oh my gosh. And then a stomp to the back of the head. What's Mitchell doing here? Snapping the head and the middle section of Troy Adams. That can't feel too great. Adams trying to make make it to his feet. Mitchell gets there first. Slings him across the ropes. Look at this. Oh, nice reversal from Adams, but he catches a punch to the face. And immediately reverses back. Nice kick. He can't, a man can't stand, man can't fight. Good strategy there by Adams. Snap suplex there, putting Mitchell on his back. And Adams now just dragging Mitchell out. 
And, oh my gosh, big soccer style kick right to the back. And look at this. He's going to try to end this early. And no, Mitchell crawling. And he, it looked like he was trying to maybe crawl to the ropes, but didn't know where they were. Maybe he couldn't see, but he ends up getting Adams off of him. Adams' head bounced off that bottom rope. Mitchell slammed to the mat. Now, these two guys, you know, you got to move on to the quarterfinals. And the winner of this matchup faces off against Jeremy Taylor, who seems to be a force to be reckoned with. Whoa, nice Luthez press from Mac Mitchell. Laying those right hands um, to the face of Troy Adams. And now here we go. Mac Mitchell, the diamond, if you will, dropping bombs on Troy Adams. We saw Jeremy Taylor do this just in this previous matchup. Center of the ring. And now, look, Mitchell's going to go for it again. Wrenching that neck over. My gosh. And the crowd loves Mac Mitchell. A couple of people with their cell phones out. Get those pictures in, folks. Show them to your friends on Facebook and Twitter. Nice shot to the stomach by Adams. Mitchell gets there first. Hooks him up. What's he doing? Uh-oh. Gets him up. Oh, and a nice suplex. It looked like he wasn't able to get him up at first, and then Adams couldn't fight it any longer. He gets suplexed. Now Adams in control. Got him up. Oh, man. Boom. Pile driver right onto the head of Mac Mitchell. The diamond now stumbling up to his feet. Look at this. Oh, it is, is a brutal move. Right to the base of the neck and the upper shoulder area. My gosh. And no. Mac Mitchell kicks out I don't know if I'm either one of these guys if I want to face off against Jeremy Taylor that guy is on a tear but Troy Adams doing what he can to advance calling Mitchell up to his feet now big oh no went for the double axe handle Mitchell stepped out of the way but Adams catches him and oh hip toss back into the ring and now his legs taken out from under him good job on Mitchell there. Be aware of where you are. Look at this. Picking him up. Oh! Knee to the face. What a maneuver that, that was. And now Mitchell just kind of basking in in the glory of the movie just performed. That was that was pretty fantastic. Elbow to the gut though. Gotta stay on him. Kicks to the chest. Holy cow. Mac Mitchell seems to be pandering to the crowd a little bit. And nice belly to belly from Adams. Adams, if you notice, staying on Mitchell. Keep it on him. Oof. Drop kick to the side of the head. Mitchell, when performing a big move, just kind of hangs back and watches. And that's not going to get you going. Look at this. Twisting. Oh my God. That looked like a Phoenix Splash, maybe. Or 450. Going for the pin is Adams. No. Mitchell kicks out of the 450. My gosh. Mitchell with a big clothesline now. And Adams able to scoot out of the way. Look at this. Nope. Club to the back of the head. And a shot to the rib cage by Mitchell. Oh, boy. And we just saw this from Adams. Jeez. Adams sprawled out in the center of the ring. Mitchell trying to catch his breath. He's going to go for the pin now. The ref making full laps around the ring. Just a two count. Just a two count. Mitchell, you got to you gotta fight a little harder than that, my friend. And now, again, the crowd up on their feet. Adams here. Oh, my gosh. Big clothesline. Second clothesline. Mitchell off the ropes. And a shot to the face. What a move by Mitchell. And a reversal by Adams. Oh, boy. Adams looks to have had enough. If he hits it, this could be it. 
for Mac Mitchell. Dropping him on his head, and it looks like that busted him open. Mitchell bleeding a little bit here. Adam's going to drag him out of the ring, pull him in, go for the pin. That's got to be it. One, two, no. Mitchell does not want to give up that easily, and I don't blame him. Shot to the face now. And an uppercut, European uppercut from Mitchell. Reversal from Adams. Hooking him. Oh, nice move there. Oh, boy. What does Adams have in mind for Mac Mitchell? Oh, nice reversal coming off that rope. No. Catches the leg, and he sweeps him and kicks him right in the face. Adams picking the diamond up. Look at this. We saw this earlier. Big pile driver right to the top of the head. And it looks like Adams is going to go for the pin again. He does. Ref, get down there and count to three. No. My gosh. What does Adams have to do? This is insanity. Mitchell really wants to move on to that quarterfinal round, and I don't blame him. One step closer to the World Heavyweight Championship. Look at this. Into a Falcon Arrow. Huge move. And Adams immediately goes for the pin again. Is that going to put him out? It does. It does. And Troy Adams gets the victory over Mac Mitchell. My gosh. Holy cow. What a matchup that was. Mitchell just did not want to give up. What a move there by Adams. And we see him go for the pin, but we know that is not it. Look at this. Knee to the face. What a, that is an incredible move. And then a pile drive, another pile driver by Adams. And this is how it ends, folks. Falcon Arrow from Troy Adams. And he gets the one, two, three. Your winner. And moving on to face Jeremy Taylor is Troy Adams. Let's take a quick break, and we'll check out the bracket for this tournament. Here we take a look at this bracket. Now, let me kind of explain what's going on here. The 25 people were put into a randomizer, and it brought up the uh, different seeds. Now, it was like I said, it was totally random, so some people got moved on. Some people got uh, put in the first round. Jeremy Taylor, Hono Chioko faced off against each other. Jeremy Taylor wins, as we just saw. He is facing Justin Brute. Now you can see he's seed number one. Jeremy's seed number 16. That, it really, the seed numbers don't really matter. Um, it was put in here random, and Justin Brute got moved on to the first round. Um, excuse me, to the second round. Then we had Anarchimus and Mac Mitchell face off. Mac Mitchell gets the victory there. Troy Adams beats Matt Baker. And moves on to face Mac Mitchell, which we just saw. So then Jeremy Taylor, Troy Adams have moved on to the quarterfinals. Now we get into Daz Heat versus Zach Graves and Shane Daniels versus Brendan X. So let's get into our next matchup right now. It is Daz Heat versus Zach Graves. Making his way to the ring. He faced off in round number one. Oh boy, he is pumped up. He faced off against, oh, I'm mistaken. Daz Heat was granted a first round bye. And now, at Daz Heat, mate, he makes his way to the ring to face off against Zach Graves.
the fans are pumped up. Daz Heat in the ring, awaiting his opponent. Making his way to the ring. He faced off against Dante LeBay in the first round. Moving forward, it is Zach Graves. Here we go, Daz Heat and Zach Graves. My gosh, this guy is terrifying. <clears throat> the ref rings the bell, and we get it on. Oh my gosh. Starting it off big, Zach Graves with a Hurricane Rana. Now, these two gentlemen, along with uh, two others, faced off in a previous webisode in a tables match. Now, Daz Heat, um, one of the reasons he was given a first round bye, he won... Uh, that matchup, that tables match, by putting Zach Graves through a table. And now these two men face off in the second round of the tournament. It just seems like fate put these two gentlemen together. Daz Heat now stomping away on Graves. The subliminal savior is what he calls himself. Off the ropes goes Graves. Oh my gosh, what a power slam by Daz Heat. Kick to the back now. And now oh, Daz is just putting the boots to Zach Graves. And a nice clothesline. Daz thought he had the upper hand, but no. Graves, legs taken out from underneath him. Elbow drop across the chest and a kip up from Daz Heat. What a move. What a move. And I'm not going to say it because I don't want to jinx this gentleman. Knee to the face and a punch. Look at this. Whoa. Wow. What a maneuver. Oh, by Zach Graves. And he misses that giant moonsault. And what is he doing? And a kick to the face. Big production for nothing. Big kick right to the face. And an uppercut by Graves. And look at this. Graves breaking out all the... High-flying Lucha Libre style moves. One of my favorite moves right there. The standing moonsault. That is by far one of my favorite moves. Nice arm drag there from Heat. Elbow to the face for his efforts. Graves, look at that. Oh! Leg across the chest and puts him down. And now Graves going up top. Ref, get him down from there. Oh, and a shooting, or excuse me, uh, red arrow from Graves. No, not going to be enough. Graves immediately goes back up top. What is he thinking? Body splash. Holy cow. That's got to be it, right? But he doesn't even go for the pin, looks like. Oh, and a kick to the face. Daz Heat. Back in control. DDT plants Zach Graves right on his mohawk. He picks him up. Into the corner goes the bizarre Zach Graves. Oh, no. Daz, don't do this. Don't do it. Oh, jeez. Daz Heat just kicked Zach right in his graves. Oh, man. I wouldn't blame him if he just wove the white flag. Holy Toledo. 
Graves making it up to his feet and a nice spinning forearm right to the face of Graves. And a two count only. And a two count. How? Hey, after that kick right in the buttons, I don't know if I'd be able to do anything, let alone kick out of a two count. Forearm smash there by Heat. A clothesline. Look at it. Oh, what's going on here? He's got him for a pin. He kind of rolls him up a little bit. No, Graves is able to kick out, and he gets a kick to the chest. Oh, man. What's he doing? Nice little twirling around there. And he's going to spin Graves around in the turnbuckle. Oh, no. He's going for it again. Graves, get out of there. He's staring at Heat like, please don't do this. Oh! Right on the button. And Graves able to... That's two times. I wouldn't even be able to function. Look at this. Oh, nice move there by Graves. Graves immediately goes for the pin. One. Two. No. Heat able to kick out after that. Missing the drop kick. Oh, boy. That's going to open it up for Daz Heat. And, man, this is a popular maneuver tonight. Drops Zach Graves right onto his head. Right onto the back of the head. Man, and, and Daz is winded. He is tiring out. I don't blame him. He's been in firm control of this matchup pretty much, pretty much the whole time. And a nice flip spinning forearm again. That's got to be it. Graves. I think, my friend, you are pushed down and out of the tournament, and that is correct. Daz Heat. Ladies and gentlemen, with that nice spinning forearm right to the face of Zach Graves, we take a look. look at, oh! Graves with that, I don't even know what to call that. Chest, standing chest leg drop. Kicked right in the Graves. And that spinning forearm right there from Daz Heat, and that looks to put Zach Graves away. We see it a second time. Big elbow right to the face, and that's gonna be it. Ladies and gentlemen, moving on to the quarterfinals. It is Daz Heat. Coming up next, and Finishing out this episode of SWF Live, it is Shane Daniels versus Brendan X for the final matchup of this card. Let's get into it and see who walks away the victory and who's taking on Daz Heat. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Making his way to the ring. It is Shane Daniels. Now he had a first round bye as well. So he's plenty rested. He heads into this matchup. Coming in from a round one victory over Jacob Cass. He is the king of extreme. It is Brendan X.
Here we go, folks. Shane Daniels is ready. Brendan X warming him up. Let's get into this matchup. They meet center of the ring, and Daniels starts it off with a huge move. Oh, my God. I mean, I'd go for the pin right there. What a move from Shane Daniels. And now he's working on that arm and elbow of Brendan. Big knee to the face. Get some space between Shane Daniels. Oh! Shot to the stomach now. And a big front kick. Holy cow. Knocked Brendan X right down on his X. Oh. Nice reversal. Yes, he gets his vertical suplex there from Brendan onto Shane. Shane taking the legs out. Boy. This match has not started off well for Brendan X. Kick to the lower back. Oh, come on. Come on. Taking that top turnbuckle off. Oh, boy. Oh, he doesn't go for it. Off the ropes goes Brendan. No. Look at this. Nice move. Shane Daniels went for a knee. Brendan sidestepped it and delivers a big knee, couple of knees right to the chest. Oh, nice driver there from Shane Daniels. And a knee to the lower back. Brandon X, uh, definitely the smaller of the two, but he is quickest. And Shane Daniels thinks that is hilarious. The beating he's putting on. Oh, my God. Knee right to the ear hole. Brandon with the reversal. Shot to the face. Look at this. Oh, dropping the head right onto the knee from the suplex position. Reversal now from behind. Look at this. Oh, nice twisting face buster there. And a kick to the back of Brendan X. And Shane Daniels is not letting up at all. Wow. Picked him up straight into the air. And he lands those big feet right in Brendan X's face. And Daniels again taunting just... Relaxing a little bit on those ropes. As he clubs Brendan right into the back of the head here. Oh, neck breaker from X. That might be what he needs to shift the momentum in his direction. And, oh, backstabber. Holy cow. That's got to be it. One, two, no. I figured that would have ended this match Promptly, as Shane Daniels is just destroying Brendan X. Holy cow. What's he doing here? He's going to pick him up. And a jawbreaker from X. Kick to the stomach now. And he's flipping him over. This might just be exactly what he needs in an elbow right to the top of the head. He's going to flip Shane over. And... Oh, he gets a boot to the face for his efforts there. He's going to spin him around. Falcon Arrow. Falcon Arrow to Shane Daniels. Nice move there by Brendan X. And, oh, jeez. Brendan X just can't get anything going. So it looks like Shane Daniels is in full control. Oh, the curse. The curse strikes again as I say something about Brendan X not being in control. He hits Shane Daniels with a suplex, but now he's pandering to the crowd when he should be taking it to Shane Daniels. Reversal from Daniels. Forearm to the face. And again, those feet right to the schnoz of Brendan X. And the crowd is loving Shane Daniels. Oh my gosh. Daniels now. He is just taking it to this poor kid. Picks him up. Power bomb. Going for the pin. One. Two. Oh, he flipped it over into a Boston Crab. Is Brendan X going to tap out? No, he manages to get Shane Daniels off of him. My gosh. Brendan X just sprawled out. He is sucking wind, that's for sure. Nice drop, toe hold, reversal. 
And Brendan X, I mean, you got to keep it to, to it, man. You can't get a victory by pandering to the crowd. He's got Daniels up. Kick to the stomach now. Look at this. Oh, nice move there. Modified backstabber, it looked like. And just as he manages to hit a big, impactful move, Shane Daniels gets out of it and into that cutter. Jeez Louise. Ref is in the way of Shane Daniels, it looks like. He's going to do a little taunting of his own. Nice takedown by X. Keep on him, brother. Jeez. Brendan X, you're not going to get a victory doing stuff like that. Picks Shane Daniels up and hits him with a huge spear. He speared the crap out of him. Goes down for the pin. The ref counts. No, just a two count. Just a two count. I, Shane Daniels has been just on a warpath in this match. And Brendan X can't assume he's going to get the victory that easily. This is just taunt versus taunt. That's what this match is. With some Shane Daniels kicking that ass all through it. Daniels picks him up. And a third time. Feet to the face. If he goes for the pin, that's got to be it. No, he is going to pick X up. And he eats a jawbreaker. Misses the knee, does X. Daniels has him up over his shoulders. Oh, big Samoan drop. And he goes for the pin. Very close to the ropes, might I add. No. Brendan X is able to kick out. My gosh. The fight in Brendan X is just something else. He's hooked him up. Oh, into a cutter. Nice move there. Reverse suplex into a cutter. But Daniels, able to get out of it, kicks away. Brendan X, and he sends X over the top rope. Holy cow. This match is something else. And Shane Daniels laughing at Brendan X. Come on, guys. Get it in the ring. Ref is counting. Shane Daniels has no... No inclination at all to want to be on the outside of this ring. Count is up to four. And he finally makes his way outside. Just to throw Brendan into the barricade. Oh, nice reversal. Knee to the stomach. And he's going to throw Brendan back into the ring. And a drop a knee near the lower back. Oh, my gosh. That uh, exposed top turnbuckle hasn't made its uh made a and an, a showing yet if at all and daniel's now heading him over look at this no wreck of the eyes of brendan x he's gonna take him center of the ring oh my god flipping pile driver from x and again eats a boot to the face shane daniels is quickly becoming this unstoppable force and a fourth time, eating those boots. Center of the ring. Shane not going for the pin. And he's just going to work that knee anyway. Holy cow. Quick taunt from Shane Daniels. Nice. There you go. European uppercut from X. Oh, boy. What's he doing here? Knee to the face. Maybe going to blur the vision of Shane Daniels some. Oh! Shane Daniels now with the legs. Oh, what a submission move. What a submission move. And and is that it? No. It looked like the ref called it away. And he's going to go for a... Oh, my gosh. Shane Daniels can do it all. And gets the victory off the roll-up. I don't believe it. My goodness. What a matchup this was, as Shane Daniels pretty much took Brendan X to the house. Took him out to the shed, if you will, and put a beating on him like we haven't seen before. My gosh, big spear right there from Brendan X, but that was pretty much the highlight from him of this matchup. And there we see the roll-up, and that's how Shane Daniels gets the victory. My goodness. 
What a match. And what a way to end episode three of SWF Live. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it. Come back soon where we have our webisode where Draven takes on Dimsmore.